The Sandy Lake and Stoneboro community is grieving tonight after three young lives were lost in a fiery crash last night just south of Stoneboro. This was on Skunk Run Road. All three were students at Lakeview High School. The district is now offering counseling to students and parents. It is a shock to the entire community, and we just learned uh, you know, more details about this later throughout the afternoon. We're joined now by our resident counselor, Dr. Deirdre Aducci. Deirdre, this loss is rippling through the community, uh, the Lakeview School District and the surrounding community as well. In these moments, how do you help people with the sudden loss and grief that comes with that? Firstly, I want to extend my condolences to all of the families. And there is not one right thing for us to do, but the first thing we can do as a community, we're grieving. And I think that helps the families to feel a little bit of cushion, that they feel our support and our, our love around them. And right now, the families are probably in shock that does not mean it doesn't hurt, but it just doesn't seem real yet. And I think that consistency in our support is the key, not just in the beginning, but maintaining consistent support for these families have, who have been through something that is a parent's worst nightmare. And Sally, you know, this is not the first time that we have reported on these types of accidents. I remember in Warren several years ago, we lost young lives and when an SUV flipped over. Uh, you know, these are young people, two 17 year old girls, an 18 year old boy. They had their futures ahead of them. And the loss of a child really is unimaginable as a parent. How do you navigate these days ahead, weeks ahead as a parent or a relative, even a friend? The first thing I would attempt to do is let's not focus on should, could, or would, and that sometimes happens when we have a loss that is sudden. We think about what we might have done, could have done, should have done, and it's really important that we don't put those expectations on ourselves or you feel guilty and you feel as though there's something that might have been done differently. Secondly, when we're supporting the families and us, us as a community, we tend to want to find out what happened or assign blame or reasoning. And that really is not important. The most important thing is that we celebrate these young lives and we are also there to maintain our very consistent support for these families in need. And they interacted with teachers and fellow students. What kind of toll does that take on them? I know that grief counseling, we were told today, is now being offered in the Lakeview schools in Mercer County. Well, grief is not an emotion that any of us like to experience. Even as therapists, there are not a lot of therapists who deal with grief counseling because it's uniformly uncomfortable for people, even as a therapist it can be. So when you have these experts who are there to help us, take advantage of that. Let them know what you're feeling, what you're experiencing. And it doesn't mean that you're going to have one predictable way of feeling. The grief process is a long process. It is not easy, it hurts, and there is no shortcut. Absolutely. Well, our hearts and thoughts go out to the community, like you mentioned, for the families and, and also everyone else that knew them and just the whole community as a whole. Really appreciate you coming on here, Deirdre, as always, to share your advice. We always approach loss, whether it be you know someone we know or someone we don't know, and this is one of those moments. It is. Our hearts are with them, and I want them to know that as a community, we are wrapped around them, and we all want to help in whatever way we can. Absolutely.